Hi guys, so I am getting ready for my wedding weekend. I have 4th of July weekend coming up. By the time you guys see this, it will have passed already. So happy 4th of July. I thought I would take you along with me while I pack. Um, I haven't done a single thing except get my suitcase, which is this thing right here. It's kind of small. Um, I don't have a weekender bag. Sorry, I don't have a weekender bag. So I had to kind of, this is sort of like one, but... Um, I want to look for one in the future and oh, I'll show you a sneak peek of my dress there it is it's that teal kind of color one I found it last minute at Macy's and I don't know if you noticed but I am <laughs> trying on false lashes but I don't think I'm gonna wear them they're just not comfortable enough for me I've been practicing wearing those shoes that I had showed in my birthday haul because I'm gonna wear those for the wedding but I just am not comfortable with false lashes eyelashes I should have probably pra been practicing wearing these I think I'm better off with false lashes uh, false lashes half lashes or individual ones which I have been looking for forever I know I had them and I finally found them before this video. So here they go. I'm probably going to wear these because I have this really weird fear that they're going to fall off. These lashes are going to fall off. Which they're not. Um, well, maybe they would. Who knows? Anything could happen. So I am probably not going to wear these. I went to the mall and that's when I... Today, that's where I found that dress. And I also wanted to get... A shade tested for the Estee for the Estee Lauder double wear because I really need full coverage right now. Um, so I got a sample of that, perfect for enough for this weekend, probably this whole week too. So I'm glad I got that. I'm gonna get everything together: my clothes, my makeup, my my toiletries, and I'll show you everything that I'm bringing uh, when I get it all together. Okay? Hey guys. I am back. I must look ridiculous with the hair and my eye half done. I was just testing out this eye look. I think I'm gonna go for something like this. Um, and I was just trying some base over here, but yeah, I'm gonna stick with probably this eye. I know it looks weird without all the makeup on. And I was also testing out the, the coverage of the Estee Lauder, but I think I'm gonna go with Makeup Forever because I don't want any white cast on my face and I think that has SPF so okay I am almost done packing I picked that oh there's Ava helping me say hi Ava say hi pa good girl there she is <laughs> so here is everything and that is I'm gonna bring that purse but I have a purse right here um okay so i'll just i'm not gonna show you everything but i'll show you like what i am bringing so those are my two pairs of shoes that i'm bringing uh the sandals i'm gonna wear for the rest of the trip like tomorrow and then the next day those shoes and even for the wedding night i'm actually gonna bring those with me because my feet are not gonna be able to stay in those all night so those are the shoes that i'm gonna wear with that wedding with the wedding dress right there which is that color but i won't show you to you because i wanted to like i want you to uh be a surprise for some reason this is the purse that i'm gonna wear and i figured that that kind of matches and plus i don't know i just i don't really have another small purse uh back there is a bathing suit just in case over there are my pajamas i brought shorts and pants uh there's my unmentionables over there this is my jewelry uh, this is my makeup. I know it looks like a lot for one night, but I just want to be able to have the option of bringing a bunch of stuff with me. Um, I mean, I just want the option just in case I want to change up my look. This is my toiletries. I'm not bringing all of this, but I pulled out all of my, uh, travel size things. So that's what I'm going to go through next. Uh, this is for tomorrow. I'm probably going to wear this tomorrow with these black jeans. And then the next day, because there's a brunch the next day, I'm going to wear this white top and the black jeans. And I thought this would look kind of cute, pop a color underneath the white top. And yeah, that's it. Hopefully I can fit everything into here. I'm not going to be putting my dress in there. I'm going to be holding that because um, I don't have a a dress, a suitcase, what is that called? 
I forgot, my mind's going blank, but you know what I mean, like, it's the shape of a dress. Uh, and then, I think that's it, so, I probably won't do any more filming tonight, but I'll try to film this upcoming weekend and a little bit of the city. Oh, and I'm gonna, my toes are white, I don't know if you guys could see that, but they're white, and... Yeah, see Hi you guys, guys so I am back and guess what? I filmed absolutely nothing because I forgot my camera at home. So I do apologize. This was this would have been a great vlog because I was in the city. I could have filmed the city and the reception and just it was a really great time and I apologize for not filming it for you guys. I just you know and I, as I'm looking back on it, I don't think I would have had time to film because after the ceremony it was straight to the reception you know I have brought so much stuff I have brought a second outfit to wear which I'm gonna put in a haul for you guys instead of um, instead because I didn't wear it up uh, I did choose to wear which I'll show you in a picture I'll, I chose to wear this Rachel Roy dress and I love it because it has the heart I got a lot of compliments on it and I like to wear this dress it's gonna sound corny but I like to wear this dress for weddings anniversaries uh valentine's day it's just a cute dress and i just love that heart i found it a few years ago i don't think it's available anymore uh but you know i haven't checked you might get lucky and i wish they had it in different colors i mean i love this color right here but other colors would have been cute too uh so the ceremony like i said was beautiful it was so funny in the middle of the ceremony I mean, this, and this only I think happens in New York City. It was an outside venue, but it wasn't exactly close, closed off. It was between streets. And this woman was walking by. I mean, a few people did that, didn't make a big deal. This woman started walking towards the where the couple were getting married, like at the head. And she just kept on, she moved a few, and then she stopped. She moved a few, and it was like she was making her way towards the bridesmaids and she was like poking around I'm sure she's gonna be in some pictures cuz cuz that's what it seemed like she was doing she wanted to like stand there and be part of the wedding it was so funny uh, and it was rainy and the benches were wet um, I mean that was like not even anything but it was just kind of like we couldn't hear the ceremony which kind of sucked um, because they didn't have any mics or like sound system kind of thing and towards the back uh, the rain I thought was fun. It wasn't terrible. It could have been like torrential downpour. It wasn't, thank goodness. She looked beautiful. Uh, he looked great and I am so happy for them. Um, so after the cer ceremony we walked to the reception, reception uh, venue and that's, I really like that, that, that the couple did that because it was easy for people who were coming from out of town or people who were staying, you know, in the hotels they provided um, everything was five to ten minutes away from each other so the ceremony the hotels the venue uh, they have brunch today uh, and that was really close by to our hotel so I thought that was really thinking like that's a good good way to do it um, so I am exhausted because I didn't get much sleep we had a our table was table number 12 and six cup there were six couples at our table. Um, three couples knew each other. So me and uh, my boyfriend and then there were two other couples that we knew that we were really close to actually. There were four people that we didn't know but like we broke the ice, we had a few shots and it was just a really, really fun time. They had a live band. Uh, I think I have a picture of the venue. I'll insert pictures where I can. I do apologize. I really wanted to vlog for you guys and it was just a big fail. Uh, I did miss this baby right here. Uh, her aunt was taking care of her and yeah, I missed her. So she was with me most of the day. I came back um, like midday and I'll show you the pile of stuff. I brought all this stuff. It looks like I went away for a week or something, and I barely used any of the stuff that I brought, especially the makeup part. It was ridiculous how much makeup I brought. You know what? I'll show you. Look at this. All of this makeup. Sorry, let me try to do this one-handed here. 
Look at all this stuff, and I barely used a uh, nothing. Nothing. I do have to say, I use the the Makeup Forever HD. I'm 120. Sometimes you, sometimes I'm a 127, uh, but I haven't gotten that much of a tan. This does work really well for flash photography. I didn't see like a white cast, uh, so that's a good choice. And it's just, look at all this stuff. I'm not even going to do what's in my makeup bag or what's in my suitcase bag because I overpacked and it's just, it was just annoying because I brought so much stuff and I had to carry it and that wasn't fun. It was just, I have to stop like trying to like think of every possible solution that's going to happen um, that I need all this stuff for. Oh, and the couple, which, sorry. Let me do Okay. So the couple, they found out where we were staying. Oops. How did I get this? Oh, I'm sorry if I'm a little lopsided. The couple found out where we were staying, and they did this for other people, too. They made gift bags, and they put things for, like, after the party and, like, after the after party. Uh, they put chips Advil, water, Capri Sun, Pringles, Cheez-Its in the bag. I thought that was such a cute idea. And they gave us little, uh, what do you call these? Little, like, string, wrap, no, streamers kind of things, I guess, uh, for when we were walking down to, from the ceremony to the venue. And then, the last thing I want to talk about is... <laughs> I take soaps and shampoos, you know, everybody does, and I recently dyed my hair, which I told you guys about, and that dye takes forever. It's the Garnier Nutris, the Ultra Color hair dye, and that thing takes forever to come out, uh, out, out of your hair. Uh, so, I was, I was gonna bring a Turby twist, and I was like, oh, no, I don't wanna bring extra stuff. Look what happened. And I dyed my hair, what, last week? A week and a half ago and the dye is still coming out so I don't know I'm probably gonna put that video up because I have some tips um, to prevent this from happening so that's why I took the towel with me because I was so embarrassed I was like oh my goodness that is bad so I felt really bad and now that'll be my hair dye towel because I was just so embarrassed and that dye does not come out you know hair dye doesn't come out so I am done I yeah I was just I had a really great time and going to this wedding in the city I don't know there's something about it is magical it was 4th of July I didn't get to see any fireworks though so that kind of sucked but I mean I was having a good time in the reception the food was amazing I had filet mignon and it was just a really good time so I will try to do better next time about vlogging if I'm in the city because it's just a fun place to be you get you see like all kinds of different people. Uh, one of my friends' wives, she's North Car She's from North Carolina, and I mean, she's grown up there all her life, and she's just, some guy sat next to her on the subway, and then he moved away, and moved across, and like, she was like, oh, why did he move away? And I'm like, that's New York. Stuff happens. People are crazy, and like, they just do what they're gonna do and then some other guy came on the train with a trench coat on and she's like why is he having a trench coat I'm like this is New York <laughs> expect anything so um, it was kind of uh, she's been here several times uh, but like for me it's like nothing and for her it was like oh what's going on um, so I'm not saying anything like to put her down or anything like that at all. I just think it's like so interesting how different cultures and like cities and uh, people, how like we react with each other. It's very, very cool. So I hope you guys had a great 4th of July and I will talk to you soon. Bye.